Hello everyone, this is Raji. In this video, let us learn about how to activate search bar, the search bar in Power BI Slicer. So, if you have too many items in a slicer, such as list of customer names or product names, then finding one among the list takes time unless you enable the search. So, the search future is there for you in a slicer. You just need to enable it. it. You just need to enable it. So it is very easy. So let us see this with a demo. So for example, if you have a slicer and here, so in this type of slicer, there is no need to add such bar because only we have few values here. And for example, we have a slicer. And we have all the employees names. So in this cases we need a search bar. So it is difficult to search. Suppose we want a name uh, like uh, uh, Helen Frank. It is difficult to search like this. So instead we can enable the search bar. So search bar is available. See here there are three dots at the uh, right hand side corner so we have to just click here and here is an option called search so here we can search the name we want for example I want Carl name Carl then simply I can search the name and all the names starting with Carl will be all the names that in include Carl will appear here. Just you have to search. If I want Carl, Carl Scott, you can search. You can select the Carl Scott from the slicer. Then all the details belong to this particular employee will be appeared here. So, so now it will be easy for to easy to search anything we want. So it will be if we have no, if we have no, uh, if we did not enable this such option, it will be difficult for us uh, and it will be time consuming for the user to scroll down to be able to find a particular customer or employee from a list if the list is too long. So the search bar would be necessary to have here. So it, it is very easy to enable it. And the search bar added will stay there in the slicer unless you disable it. Disabling is similar to enabling it which is just click here and uh, uncheck this uh, search bar. Then search bar, bar will disappear. So this means if you want the search bar to be available for the end user then you have to enable it and then publish the report to the Power BI ser service. So this is very easy. If you want to enable it, simply click here. So such option will be available. So we can filter the data by also searching in the filter pane here. For example, I want to search the same name. So here also you can apply the filters. see here there is an option called search here we can search the name Carl so in filter pane this is the way we search the name that is required so this is another way in, but in slicer we search by simply clicking here and enabling the search button so this is how you can enable a search bar in Power BI slicer. So this is all about today's video. Thank you.